And this is Speed and Endurance Day. I forgot to mention, this is June 1977. Here I am going to weigh in. <coughs> With my saddle and boots and helmet, I was overweight. Needed 165 pounds on the horse, we weighed in at 190. That's about two and a half stone overweight. Here's start of roads and tracks. A couple of little hump jumps along here, little tiny things like two foot nine, which we just hopped over, and that was our only warm up before we arrived at the steeplechase. Got there 15 seconds early, and they said, number 39, you got 15 seconds. I jacked up my stirrups, felt like I was going to be sick, and he says, two, three, one, go. See, that first jump, he dug in a little bit, but I kept pushing, and he show jumped over it, sort of about five feet in the air. And he go twice around this grass racetrack, a mile and three quarters total. And now I'm coming around to jump that first one again. So I think that's the fifth jump. And we're flying here, we're going 640 meters per minute, which is 26 miles an hour. Now, this horse never jumped at this speed before and not at this height. And down the other end, see a good take off here, he jumped almost every one exactly like this. A little bit of fall thrown landing there. The far end when we made the turn, he felt that I was running out of petrol and I had to really send him for the last one. Then I made a mistake in that um, Friday after the last fence of coming across the end of phase B, which is the beginning of phase C, I pulled him up abruptly. I should have let him glide down into it. Anyway, uh, we're now onto the cross country, having done the other roads and tracks and the vet check, where his temperature was 108 degrees, and we got it down to 105 with the ice. And I said, and the vet says, okay, you passed. And I said, I don't want to hurt this horse. We had this um, across the driveway jump. He says, well, if you're not going to try and win, if you're going to try and get around, take him. If he feels exhausted, pull him up. But he never touched the fence, and we went absolutely clear. And unfortunately, Barbara was taking the film, couldn't run miles across the cross country to get me, so she only got those few jumps. Okay, this is show jumping day. After the cross country, he was really stiff. And he jumped, he knocked that rail down on the first one because it looked like a brush, like a steeplechase jump. But then he listened, jumped the whole course fine. It's a little bit. Um, it wasn't flowing over the course because he was so stiff. I couldn't get him engaged around at all. But nevertheless, he jumped everything clear except for that first fence. So that first fence rail was the only jumping pole for the entire three-day event. These fences are good size. The water jump on the course which he clears by about an extra stride. You'll see in a minute. I know Billy Steinpaus was, as president of the United States Equestrian Team, was sitting on the sidelines watching. I'm sure we didn't impress him at the jumping he did. See how far he lands out of that water jump. Here we are coming into this triple. Remember, we came in on a wrong stride, but we got right by the time we got out of it, see? And we still pull this out, and that's the jump that there was a photograph up at the beginning. It's not meeting his fences perfectly right, but good enough. And this horse could jump from anywhere if he had to, because he had that extra jump in it. 